Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video here. This is a throttle assembly off of a 2005 Grand Prix. Your TPS sensor, uh, your motor's in here. This is the valve body, here's your butterfly. Your connector. Uh, I had pulled this off the other day to clean it. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube about cleaning these things. <clears throat> so I didn't figure I needed to shoot that. Uh, but I ran into a problem, which I should have known better. Uh, it, the car originally had uh, the reduced engine power uh, and it thrown the code a while back. But it, uh, it must have been a soft code because it, it had the, in the information center, it had uh, the reduced engine power, but there was no effects, and then that went away. So the throttle started sticking on me uh, from an idle, so I knew that it was getting carboned up. So I decided to take it off. Uh, you use brake cleaner, clean everything up. But this was, let's see here, this was so, gummed up it was quite bad that I ended up taking the butterfly assembly off and cleaning that up because that had a ton of carbon on it and there was a ton of carbon in the axis here so I took that off cleaned everything up shined it up put it back on and I did uh, I did this and I made sure that the throttle wasn't sticking. I put it back together, started the car up, and uh, I immediately got, I immediately got, uh, it just threw codes, uh, uh, P, P codes, 2101, uh, P1516, all these, uh, everything to do with throttle actuator assembly to the APPS, the pedal. So I got a, borrowed a buddy's uh, Tech 2 scan tool and I thought, well, maybe I uh, have to recalibrate it since it was so far out. Because I, I believe I had to do that on uh, my wife's Denali a while back when I put uh, a throttle assembly on it. So fast forward, uh, the Tech 2 scan tool wouldn't do anything. Uh, it would uh, uh, throw the code. There, there was no special test to perform uh, like there would be on if you had to reset the throttle position sensor. So it would throw the codes as fast as I could clear them and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And I knew it had to be something that I did because it was working before I took it apart. So I went back through and I looked and uh, I checked all the connectors, checked all the pins and uh, checked this and it was moving fine. So I ended up pulling this back off and I thought maybe uh, it had bound at some point uh, because they had no pedal it's a drive-by wire, but if you watch the other videos and you're having this problem, you'll understand how you, it's almost non-existent or non-responsive. So I pulled this off to make sure the gears weren't stripped and make sure the motor is running and everything seemed fine. And what I found is it was my fault, but if you look down in here, if I can get it up in the light here. If you look down in here, you can see Right on the top of the flashlight there. I don't know how well that's showing up. You can see where the, the color changes there. Actually, what was happening is I didn't look at it enough. And when I made sure that I had this centered again, I only made sure that it opened. And I did not realize that it actually goes can see this way better it goes 
back the other way. Um, I don't know if it's for shock absorption when it comes back or uh, I imagine, imagine that's somewhere around idle and the computer has to shut it all the way down to choke it. But either way, uh, I should have known better. I didn't check it over properly. So I pulled that back apart. I used some machinist emery cloth and cleaned up the edges, put it back together, checked all the edges, and now it runs fine. Put it back in and lo and behold, ran perfect. No more codes. Cleared the codes and I've had it back on for a week now and it runs smoother and better and no more codes. So if you're having that problem with, uh, I'll put the tags in there, but uh, any of the problems that, that I searched um, from throttle position sensor to throttle body to uh, throttle valve, cleaning, pedal, I mean, you can, you can really get lost in some of these things and think you need a new ECM and the gremlins won't go away. And it's peaches. Sometimes it's just something really simple like a mechanical issue and, and, and you run yourself ragged trying to figure out something that's not there. So uh, I hope this helps somebody uh, that you don't have to buy a whole new $300 valve assembly because you can't buy the throttle position with it. With this, this all comes as one unit now. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody, and uh, we'll talk again soon.